When we talk about the greatest ever, who do we bring up? LeBron James, obviously. Michael Jordan. Some will bring up Kareem and Wilt. But what about this one player? What about the one true GOAT of the NBA? Well, let's listen to the man himself talk. Maybe now you could say, yeah, I didn't play a second. But in five years, you guys are going to forget. In 10 years, I'll still be a champ. In 20 years, I'll tell my kids I probably started. And in 30 years, I probably told them I got the MVP. So I'm really not too worried about it. And it has been 15 years since that day. So while he may not be a starter right now, we all know in 20, 30 years, we can change the narrative completely that this guy was the greatest player of all time. Today, we've got hero Brian Scalabrini. Let's just say he was sixth man on that Boston team. So Brian Scalabrini right here, the guy is a freaking beast in game. I look at his stats, 98 three ball. He's at 97 in all his defense, 97 speed, 97 lateral. And this is the one player I will say is a hundred times better than his regular card. Like regular Scalabrini is so cheap. He's so cheap, lads. Let's take a look at his price right here. He's not going to be 5k, but he's likely going to be the cheapest Opal in the entire game, either him or Richard Jefferson. As you can see... Well, auction is not working. You never know. Please don't be an auction house ban. As you can see, 9k MT and the card's been out like, what's it? Not even two hours? 8.7k? But look at the difference between these Scalabrinis. Plus 25 standing, plus 13 driving dunk. And also he's got um, plus 10 speed to ball acceleration, which is crazy. And one of the biggest differences though, is if you guys look right here at the animations, you've got um, Brian Scalabrini the good one with Trez Trey Young's on the quickest release in the game, and the other card having Yuta Watanabe and Emmanuel Quickly. Not the worst release in the world, but like compared to Trez Trey Young is wild. Other than Jordan, who has the huge gap, I think genuinely Scal is the next biggest between his hero and his regular. And in badges, why Scalabrini with his 25 halves and 30 golds, he's basically perfect. Badges you think he might need? I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe Dimer, maybe Chase, I don't know. But just an unreal card, lads. And the fact he's not even a buy of the other one's 10k just shows how good he is. So I'm just going to be using him with a random squad basically because I have to leave in like 30 minutes. So as soon as this game is done, I'm out of the house. I do not have time, unfortunately, to um to really build a squad or spend time on that part of the video. So this video is going to be up very late because I got to go out and record when I come back. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's get on to the gameplay. Okay, so when it comes to Skull, obviously Stevie size up which is one of the better ones in the game. Release-wise is super quick. Like the Trey Young upper just makes every release quicker in this game. And obviously Montrez Harrell uh, base is already one of the quickest. So he's jet, like he becomes one of easily the best um, scoring small forwards in this entire game. I think you could maybe argue even better than the Chet Holmgren. Like obviously Chet does have the height advantage. Chet does have like a three inch height advantage over Scal, but it's not like Scal is small either. The guy's 6'9", and those guys do move better than the seven footers. Like, Chet's just going to be your poor man's bull bull. Whereas these, like, seven-foot guys can't really move that well. Whereas uh, Scalabrini is just your Steve Fra your Steve Francis 2.0. It's not Steve Francis 2.0, you're Tim Thomas 2.0. That's basically what you're getting. You're getting Tim Thomas with the normal fade. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy with this card. Behind the back, dunks. Yeah, should be easily. Easily a top two or three um, small forward in this game. So now it's going to three. Now we're going to get on to the game. Okay, I have spent 20 minutes finding this game. So I got to have the best first quarter ever with Scalabrini and get this guy out of here as quickly as possible. Let's go. Try escape. Or not, not even try escape. Oh, he's normal leaner. It's fine. Oh, hit that wide open. Give me that one. Scalabr. Brick. Scalabrick. Okay, Scal, you're good. You're good. You're good. Is that too deep? Maybe. Should be having the normal leaner here. One word, six letters. We out here breaking leaners. Jesus. It's fine. This guy's overplaying me middle every single time, so I should have this fade. That was green. I've shot so many normal leaners, I know that was green. Screw it. Try escape into a... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I have been trying to score as much as possible with Scout more We over four, just one possession. Oh, that's open. Come on, Scal. Let's go. That's your first shot. Give me that. Oh, my God. Why would you get that animation? Okay, so trying to blitz this guy has led to me playing the worst quarter of 2K I've ever played. 
Good shot, Scott. Come on. You still have time. You still have plenty of time to get back in this. Okay, come on, Scout. Like, I'm str I've struggled big time to start this game, but it doesn't mean I'm going to keep struggling. Scout just honestly just drag back and shoot in his face. Good shot, Scout. Come on, Scalabrini. Dunk it. There we go. Let's go. You know what? If I can get 50 in this quarter, I'm happy. I just got to blitz him. Give me that. Give me that one, Scalabrini. That's a green. Oh, no. We've just, we just got that, uh, got that no green window algo right now. Okay, we're good. He's going to commit to that. Give me that one. That's a good shot, Scott. Let's go. We're good. Give me that one, Scott. Come on. There we go. Good steal. Go, Scott. You're good. Burn him. Burn him, Scott. One second. No, Scott. You know what? 14 in the first quarter, and I couldn't hit a shot. I'll take that. It's better than nothing. Stop. Give me that one, Scal. At least green before you come off. Let's go. I'll take that. Oh my god, it's a steal. That's a steal as well. Holy crap. This guy can't play, but he greens every shot. Give me that one. Come on, KPJ. Let's go. I know you can cook. You can score every time. Oh, that's awful. I just unlucky. Okay, we are struggling right now. KPJ has really been our one kind of bright light. Catch the ball, you bum. Basically, here's my whole team. All they've been doing, they've been fumbling the ball. I don't even know if they're playing basketball right now. Like, every single time, his players are, have glue hands and my players have butter fingers. Give me that one. There we go, Scal. At least that's 20 for him. Like, once he gets hot... No! You can't pump fake with him. You cannot pump fake with him. That is one issue. Is that release is just too fast. If you try to pump fake... Like, I reckon I have at least... You're an, you're an idiot, Terrell Bailey. You didn't even fall over. You just held your nuts. Let him dunk on you. Here, stand up and try to block it or fall over. Good, Scal. Come on. Let's go. That is still one of the best catch and shoot releases in the game. Just don't ever try to pump fake. That's my That's my fault. Drop back. You know what? Give him the shot. Give him the shot. Protect the basket. Good, Scal. Let's go. Oh, we've got the mismatch here. Give me that. Give me that one, Scal. Barini. Okay, now he's starting to cook. Now he's starting to cook. Oh, not a great first quarter, but now he's really cooking. Oh, nice move. That's a great move there. I thought he was going to pass, and he spun. Compl I'm almost certain that's unintentional, but you know what? That was... If he meant to do that... Fair play. Fair play if he meant to do that. That was such a good read. He completely, completely um, made the right read there. I thought he was going to go and make the pass. He decided to go and do something, do a spin move, which is so inconsistent. Such a good play. It's an easy shot there for Scal. Like, Scal has now got 29. Oh, give me that one on the break. Scal, he just can't miss. Brian Scalabrini just can't miss here. Is he gone? He's done! Brian Scalabrini! Brian Scala freaking Brini. Like an awkward, awkward game, but he can cook, lads! And for those of you guys that want to know what the other Brian Scalabrini shoots like, like that. It's actually still a quick release. But you're looking more of like a smaller green window, more of a chest pass release, way harder to time. Like way harder to time. It's still quick. That base is very similar level. The base is really high level, it's just a really weird upper. And then, obviously, instead of having Stevie size up, he's got Carmelo Anthony size up, which kind of brings it out before he does anything. And I mean, the escape is Kobe escape. So everyone kind of knows what that is. But that's the difference between these two scouts. You get a way better release. Like, this one, the hardest release I've found to time this entire year, just in shoot around. Like, it's quick, but it's super, super small green window. Like, this might have, like, this might have one of the smallest green windows in the entire game. It really might. Such a tough release of time, although, again, it is relatively, relatively quick, I guess. So anyway, that is the video. Scal, lads, Scal is unbelievable. Scal is unbelievable. Like, this is one of the best small forward power forwards in the entire game. Like, if we're looking at small forwards that are better, and I mean, like, better, objectively better cards. Bobo is not an objectively better card than this. Bobo is not objectively better. Scal's got a better size up. Scal moves better. Scal's got a quicker release and better release. 
So Bobo is not an objectively better player. Bobo is a player that most people would say is better. Not like not definitively better. Chad Holmgren, way better stats wise. The difference between him and Chad Holmgren is Chad has got PJ Tucker, Chad, which is a good release, and a Curry escape. I think Chad's better. I think Chad's the better card. I don't think there is any. He's better than LeBron. He's better than Giannis. He's better than. I'm trying to even think about it. Goes. He's better than AK. Like he's better than Jimmy Butler at the three. If you want to run him down, he's better than Kawhi. He's better than Bill Russell. Tim Thomas is a debate. He literally, he feels like Tim Thomas. He's basically just Tim Thomas, but way cheaper. Like, you're going to be able, this guy's going to be probably under 100k, especially when Super Packs come out at the end of the season. He's going to drop under 100k, and he is easily, easily a top three small forward in the game. Look, it goes, Kevin Garnett's a little bit different. Bobo and Chet are different types of players. He creates better than both of them. If you want a Tim Thomas type player, he's basically just Tim Thomas for way cheaper and with a slightly better release. So that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.